hurting no one. But the other exploded in one of those clusters of makeshift homes that are now a familiar scene in all parts of refugee-swollen Saigon. Two homes completely destroyed, three others damaged. The dead and wounded came from just a few families. The wounded were quickly evacuated across the river to the central section of the city for medical treatment. The dead were quietly carried into the homes of stunned neighbors to wait for morning. In this attack, the logic was at the gasoline station, which was only a block from the U.S. Embassy. But the stench of death was in the shanties, nowhere near a strategic target. Steve Bell, ABC News, Saigon.